She almost hit me, right? What you just saw right there is just some of many clips that I'm going to show you today just to prove to you that racism in 2020 is very much still a real thing. And if you don't believe that, then you wouldn't last two seconds on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Nor would you ever bring honor to your family, even if you lived in ancient China during a war and your father got mandatory drafted and you were a woman and you took his place and your name was Mulan. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you still wouldn't bring honor to your family. A racist Mulan is still bad. The clips you just saw were from a streamer named Gianni Lee, who's an IRL streamer on Twitch.tv. She's known for doing a lot of IRL in real life walking streams, showing people around different places. Aside from doing them in Korea, she's been doing them in other countries. Most of these clips are before COVID ever happened, so before you get your panties in a bunch trying to dismantle my whole argument behind racism being bad just because she was out during COVID, you're wrong. Delta, did you have anything you wanted to add before we move on? F you mother mess with Gianni. Whoa, easy Delta with the cursing. I don't want to get demonetized. Well, considering the fact that you're already talking about racism in this video, there's a high chance that you're probably already demonetized. Fair enough. Curse away. Any of you d motherfuckers with Gianni is going to have to mess with me. I'm going to hunt down every last one of you mother and when I find you, I'm going to use your intestines to play hopscotch in your chest cavity. I think I'm going to turn you off for the rest of the video. Moving on. I've never met Gianni in person, but I have interacted with her a few times on Twitch, and she's nothing but a kind and gentle soul. One of the things that you really have to commend her about watching clips like this is her attitude during the whole situation. She never freaks out. She never curses at people. She never cusses them the f*** out. And to be pretty fair, I think if it was anybody or most people in her shoes, I think they would flip their shit if this happened to them. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where are you from? South Korea. South Korea, where are you? I'm from Turkey. Turkey? Yes. Korea? Yeah. Is Korea? No, no. No? Germany. Germany, you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah bye. Yes, Korea is very good. Nice. I honestly have no idea how she does it because if that was me in her shoes, I would be just going off on those guys. I've done a few IRL streams myself, which you guys probably know if you've watched me a while. And I've experienced my fair share of racism myself just doing some IRL streams on the streets of South Korea. So I really got to give it to Gianni. She, her attitude is just, it's just golden in these situations. Now, apart from the instigators that bring on these whole situations, honestly, it's kind of sad just watching the people nearby that don't do anything. And if they do do something, they just laugh along with them. It's it's genuinely sad. Take for example this woman right here. She's been watching the whole time. She watches as the situation begins. She watches it as it ends. And after these dudes who make fun of her walk away, she just proceeds to laugh. I honestly can't make sense of it. I have no idea why this woman is laughing. Either she just didn't get the joke and she didn't understand what the hell was going on, or she thought that making her eyes all squinty like those guys were doing was a genuinely hilarious joke, comedic gold, that if you didn't laugh, then you're actually idiotic and you're dumb. Now, I can't say the same for the other Asian guy behind her because he actually genuinely looks back and is like, well, what the fuck? What the hell's going on? What are these pricks doing? Like that guy looks back a couple of times, but at least he doesn't genuinely laugh at the situation. I know that when most of us were growing up, we thought racist jokes and edgy jokes were just just hilarious and just the funniest thing in the world. But once you get older and your brain actually starts to develop a little bit, you realize that it's really insensitive and it's it's just really immature. And if you find it funny, then you're you're just a douchebag. Hi, I'm from South Korea. <laughs> I know sunflower seeds that are more mature than these full-grown adults. And it honestly boggles my mind how we're living in a world and this stuff is still going on and the people doing it still think it's okay. Well, to be perfectly fair, honestly, I'm not surprised. In fact, I, I, I expect it. Earth is just a shitty place. Why do you think I turned my apartment into a starship and I'm living in space right now with a talking robot? <gasps> That's robotist. Now, of course, any sane person dealing with this type of situation, there's only so much that you can take. I honestly would have lost it by now, and I, I really got to commend Gianni's uh, mentality during this whole thing and her approach and just for being so calm and, and laughing it off as she has been doing. But there's only so much that Gianni can take as well, as you're about to see. Sorry, I, I will not... Oh! 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 
All right, if you're still watching the video by now and you at least have somewhat of a heart, then you should feel a little bad for her if you haven't already. Somebody literally just comes up to her randomly and puts like a sticker on her camera while she's just minding her own business, trying to do a live stream. And I'm just asking to myself, why? Like, what, what do they have to gain from this? Well, what fun is it? Now, this clearly leads to Gianni getting actually emotionally upset to the point where she's crying on her live stream. It's just genuinely sad that people are still like this. These are grown adults that are acting so immature and it's just pathetic. If you're an adult and you think things like this are funny, then I highly suggest you reevaluate your sense of humor. Edgy jokes can be funny, sure, up to a point, but they have their limits as well. I personally believe that if you're gonna go out of your way to genuinely hurt someone's feelings at the cost of making a shitty joke, then you're just genuinely a piece of subhuman filth. You're a lower life form. Well said, Delta. If you're a grown adult and you still act like this, then you are just a lower life form at this point. Now, the good news about all of this is that there actually are some good people that Gianni runs into, thank fuck. And I'm not making this video to say that all random ass people on the street you're gonna meet are like this either. But the fact is, this situation is very real and it could happen to anybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. Very good girl. Aww. Welcome to Germany. I'm sorry about my German compatriots. I feel sorry. She's very good. And come, please, to Germany. German people are so kind to you. Can I get yes, you? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you, brother. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Philip. Philip? Yes. Oh, can I kiss you? Just a side note, I didn't add that cheesy music in there. Somebody else, whoever uploaded the original video, put that in there. But whatever, I just left it in. I think it's a fine touch. I think it, it, I think it represents the proper emotion. Racism is very much still a real thing, and it's genuinely sad. Everyone is equal, and if you don't treat others the way you want to be treated, then how can you expect to be treated back the same? Some people uh, blame at German people, right? Don't do that. Every German people are so nice, only them was bad, right? Only them made some mistake. Others are so nice. I'm honestly astounded by Gianni's positivity during this whole situation. She just has such a good outlook. She's just such a nice person. If there was an award for best maturity during a racist situation, then Gianni would hands down win number one. Her mentality towards these situations are just so genuine and sincere that you can't not give her credit for it. Anyways, that'll about do it for today's video. If you guys want, leave a like, hit that sub button if you're new. I also stream on Twitch. If you guys want to check that out, I'll probably be streaming later today. That's twitch.tv slash terrytvlive. Also, follow me on my socials if you want to. That's at RealTerryTV on Twitter and Instagram. Links down below. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this situation. All right, that's all for now. Bye.